Hi kids! Today we will learn about different forms of energies. So let's start. We know if we apply force, only then some work is done. And to exert force, we need energy. So energy produces force, and force does the work. We need energy to apply force to do any work. Nothing can happen without energy. Now let's learn various forms of energy. There are many forms of energy. And all forms of energy are capable of doing work. A special property of energy is that it can change from one form to another. We can convert one form of energy to another form by suitable instrument. Washing machine. What is it doing? It's converting the electrical energy into mechanical energy for washing clothes. Now, let's learn different forms of energy one by one. Muscular energy. It is the kind of energy that all of us use to do any kind of work like walking, running, swimming, lifting weights. Any work we do, we use muscular energy. So it's the energy stored in the muscles of human beings and all other living beings. We can play, jump, or do any physical activity using this muscular energy. Now let's learn about heat energy. Heat is form of energy and is capable of doing work. You all see your mom cooking food. Which energy does your mom use to cook food? She uses muscular energy, of course, to prepare the food, but it's the heat energy that cooks the raw food into cooked food. It is the heat energy inside the microwave or oven that cooks or bakes the food for you. Heat energy is also used to make you feel comfortable inside your home when it's too cold outside. Heat energy is also used to iron your clothes. Kids, James Prescott Joule was an English scientist and one of the first persons to realize that heat is a form of energy. He also proved that energy can be changed from one form to another. Now let's learn energy of flowing or moving water. The flowing water has energy that can be used to do some useful work. Here is an example. In big dams, water is stored in big reservoirs. And from these reservoirs, water is thrown from big heights on turbines. This fast falling moving water rotates the turbines, which in turn runs the generators that produce electricity. Energy of moving water is used since ancient times. Big logs of wood were thrown in water and the energy of flowing water was used to transport big logs of wood from one place to another. We can enjoy water rides and it's all because of the energy of moving water. Now let's learn about electrical energy. Our life these days is handicapped without electrical energy, as everything is running with electrical energy. All we have to do is to plug an appliance into electrical socket and switch it on. Fans, refrigerators, ACs, washing machines, elevators, and just almost everything uses electrical energy. So it's one of the most important forms of energy nowadays. We convert heat energy into electrical energy. 
we convert solar energy into electrical energy. And we convert wind energy into electrical energy. We even convert nuclear energy into electrical energy because electrical energy is a source that we use the most. And our appliances, again, convert this electrical energy into the desired form of energy. Fan changes the electrical energy into mechanical energy. A mixie or a grinder converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy. An iron converts the electrical energy into heat energy. Music player converts the electric energy into sound energy. Now let's learn about wind energy. The moving air has energy called wind energy. The wind energy can be used for rotating the blades of a windmill. The windmill can be used for running a wheat grinding machine, pumping out water, and for producing electricity. Now let's learn about solar energy. The energy produced by the sun is called solar energy. It reaches us in the form of light energy and heat energy. Light energy issued by the plants to make their own food with the process called photosynthesis. We feel warm on a sunny day due to the heat energy of the sun. Solar cookers use this solar energy to cook food. Solar water heaters use this solar energy to heat water, solar furnaces, solar batteries, big solar power plants all use the solar energy in order to work. Now let's learn about chemical energy. Every substance is made up of some molecules and the molecules are further made up of atoms. And these atoms and molecules are joined together with some bonds and chemical energy is stored in the bonds between these atoms and molecules. When the bonds between these atoms break or join energy is released, and this energy is called chemical energy. Let's see some examples. When we eat food, the complex molecules of food are broken down into simpler molecules and release this chemical energy. And this is the energy that we use to do our daily activities. Fossil fuels have stored chemical energy in it and it is released when the fuels are burnt inside the vehicle and that energy is used by the vehicle to run. Electric cell or electric battery have chemical energy stored in them and that chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. So kids, today we learned about different forms of energy. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.